Tell me what you just told me about that putt. I made it. Are you sure? I didn't get it on camera. Oh yeah, nothing happens if it doesn't happen on the vlog. About to roll out to the course. First day of competition, feeling pretty stoked. It's really windy right now. But about 15 miles per hour, but you know, hopefully all of the teams that we're competing with are playing on the same course at the same time, so you know, the top kind of level teams. But uh should be fun. Uh the Beavers actually lost uh one of their best players, Matt Elzinga, to a back injury, which sucks. But luckily they're enough to be so deep that Will Mayfield, a top level player, winner of NCI, is uh, going to step in his place. So we're thinking we're going to play with them and we're really looking forward to it. Those guys are really, really good and it uh, should be really fun. We'll uh, see you over at the Hippodrome. Is it cause a nigga could light up a fence? I don't know how you feel till you tell me. I won't know how you feel till you tell me. Is it cause a nigga has something well? Is it cause I'm a star? It maybe could be my star star. Got my chain and brain. If I roll it, watch it, got 50 cares. It could be cute. I got some words before we stay in their three Oregon teams. About LCC. LCC. Matt, how hyped are you? About to walk out. Uh, I'm a little, a little down right now, but I feel happy to get under that bridge over there. I'm just gonna, as long as I snap into it, you know, I'm gonna pull myself in. <laughs> For the vlog, for the vlog, Tim Stye. Oh, Tim Stye, everybody. All right, we out here with NCDGC legend, Mr. Tim Stye. Tim, what are your thoughts on the event this year? Uh, it's gonna be windy, wet, and go. Uh, go Ducks. Yeah, go Ducks. Yep. Back at going on. Well, John Black and I, President John Black of East Georgia College, and I had this dream that we could have some teams. We had six teams the first year, think of that. Six teams, 24 total players. And right now, there are 82 teams here, 321 players, and 52 different schools. Thank you, thank you. And we ain't through yet, baby, we ain't through yet. Start this thing, this, is, this country was founded on our freedom of religion. My God, we need to get back to a little more of that. I do believe. We're going to start off with a prayer for our safety. The good Lord be with us all weekend long and give us safe traveling mercies home. After which, I'll ask you to stand and face that flag as we honor America with the playing and singing of our national anthem. Father God, again, we come to you on, a, on another beautiful day you've given us. And we thank you for the gift of life and we thank you for the gift of love that we all have as this golf family. And it's more than just a competition. It's a gathering of family. We've got brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, moms, and dads that we just haven't met yet. Here this weekend, we asked you to bond us all together just that much closer. Share the phone numbers, keep in touch during the year to meet back again next year. We ask now that not for your hand in the results on any throw, not that we don't throw in Eric towards the basket, but that your hand is on our heart, your arm on our shoulder, that we realize our love of this sport comes from you, our talent is yours, and we pause and give you the glory for whatever the results, not only on this golf course, but in our lives outside as well. You see, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming. Starting on hole four, Old Glory. About 12 o'clock, about to tee off, skirt with our good pals, the Beavers. About to be a good round. Yeah! 
Championship disc golf, everybody. Two corrals. <laughs> what you think, Connor? Maybe if we were playing legitimate disc golf holes, we might have been sad about that one. What up, guys? So just finished our first round. Finished five down at Old Glory, which we were pretty happy about. Started real good. Birdied like five of our first six holes. Were really hot. Um, couple out of bounds mistakes towards the end of the round on a couple really difficult holes cost us a few strokes but it's really windy out here right now and uh, we'll take the five down it's not too bad Oregon State was played with us they shot three down so a couple right behind us they had a couple more OBs than us which was the difference out there but uh, Lane and Portland State making big ways on hogback this morning shot Port Lane shot 14 down tying what we did last year which is a pretty crazy round and then 13 by Portland State so right behind them so those guys are probably gonna be on the lead card at Old Glory in the afternoon um, the hots we've heard on Old Glory this morning were 12 by Augusta and Wichita State couple really stacked teams lots of talent out here and uh, yeah it was fun hopefully we shredded up and hog back the wind shouldn't be too bad out there right now um, but yeah gonna go do the best one we can on this next round uh, for, for our B team, uh, they're playing singles. They shot a bunch. They shot all between 12 and 19 over. So, but that's that should be competitive in their field. Those of course are really difficult right now, really tight and really windy. So uh, they're dealing with that. The girls had fun. They're they're uh, paired up with Michaela Thomas, a real good 920 I think player, and uh, another girl that they really like. So they're having a good time as well. So uh, catch you guys after the first round and. Uh, Go Ducks. Bars. Looking for disc bars. Yep. Yep. Yes, Connor. Devin, what, what was going through your head during that putt? I was thinking, man, I haven't had to putt yet today because Lance will be <laughs> That's mm. the best thing to go through your it's head. It's a good team hole. Yeah. That's that driving that. I was thinking, I'd head. probably have to walk back if I don't make it. Hi YouTube. How you doing, Marty? What are you? Uh, what are you? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Marty is the uh, PDGA social media guy. Just out here tweeting, tweeting, Instagramming, Facebooking. I've never been to these courses, and they're crazy. And uh, I feel like I'm lost all the time because I am lost. Who do you think is gonna win this weekend? I think it's way too early to say. Oregon Ducks, right? I think it's way too early to say. Nathan, what's uh, what's going on? Throw back to last year. About to get a little redemption. Same putt. Woo! He 
did it! Alright, how's your round go today, Riley? Went pretty awesome. I went three up the first time and two up the second time. On what courses? Hedrick. Hedrick Hills, both rounds? Yep. What's your favorite disc to throw on Hedrick? Mm, yeah, actually, either my Atlas or my Valkyrie. Atlas and Valkyrie, good choices. Like 12 down, Logan has shot 12 down. Let the world know that Logan shot 12 down to Moody Woods. You can confirm that on the PDGA website, ladies and gentlemen. What up, Garrett? How'd your rounds go today? Really good. Really good? First one was a little bit difficult. Didn't shoot super well, but my second time... What course was that? Uh, Moody Hills. Moody Woods. Moody nice. Hills, yeah. No worries. I just hit a whole bunch of trees and just a few butts actually made, but it was fun. It's Logan again. Uh, he's yeah. going to tell us what really happened in his round. I am a dummy. I went to the wrong hole and got par plus four for the wrong hole. Hey, but you picked the best hole to skip. Yes, because it's the hardest I did hole skip the, the hardest hole on the course. So it may have been on purpose, we're not sure. Still got plus four. Strategically misses his first hole because it's the hardest hole on the course. There was nothing gentlemen. done on purpose. It, I'm All just right. a big dummy. Well, good talk, Logan. <laughs> we're here with our good friend, Megan. Megan, What's working Chef at Red? Chef Red's. Absolutely delicious. Uh, what do you think about our team so far? I think you guys are awesome. Yeah. You guys came in a couple of you yesterday. You guys, great spirit. Yeah. What do you th think about our chances to win the national championship? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I really haven't been following that close, but you guys seem awesome. But pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. We're pretty cool people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what, what's, what are the other must dos in Augusta for us? Or other good places to eat. Hmm. I don't eat anywhere else other than. Only here. come back to <laughs> Chef Red's. You know, um, Golden Corral. Because I'm a buffet. <laughs> so I'm a buffet kind of girl. So, you know, Golden Corral and Chef Red's and, and IHOP. I do kind of like IHOP. Okay, okay, okay. Right on. Well, yeah. thank you very much. So that's a wrap, day four of uh, our trip to NCDGC in North Augusta, South Carolina. First day of competition today went pretty well, actually. First round we did five down at Old Glory, and second round we did 12 down at Hogback, which is pretty good. Um, we'll definitely take that. We're playing really, we, we're playing really well for where we think we should be right now, and we're really excited about tomorrow. Um, some a couple other other Oregon teams are shredding it up. Lane and Portland State are both one better than us overall right now at 18 down overall we're at 17 down overall the leaders are university of augusta i believe at 26 under par total so only nine off the leader so so i mean that's a lot of strokes but you can make up those strokes in the way this tournament works we got singles day the first half of singles day tomorrow we're really looking forward to that that should be fun I, we don't really know who we're playing with yet but regardless we had a blast or, or they should be a blast. We like pretty much everyone here. Played with uh, Liberty. Uh, those guys, big fans of the vlog, so shout out to the Liberty people. You guys were really fun to play with today. And thank you to everyone that's been coming up to us at the tournament saying how much you love the vlogs. You know, we're busting these out for you guys. We love the vlog just as much as you guys. And uh, trying, to keep it, trying to keep it real. So uh, see you guys tomorrow, and go Ducks.